Hi, everybody. Hi. It's Andy and Azra today, and Edwin is at Roots Tech. So we are your official hashtag, not at Roots Tech crew today. <laughs> Bingo. So welcome. Thank you all for joining us tonight. And well, or today, depending on where you're at in the globe. To, and this bingo, we're going to talk about one place studies, which is fabulous, because it's one of the things that I really, really enjoy with WikiTree. It is a virtual travel show. We talked about one name studies earlier today. And if you missed that, definitely go back and see it. These two are similar but also different, wouldn't you say, Azure? Yeah. They have some different different feelings to it and different reasons, but they work perfect together. So if that makes sense to everybody, <laughs> welcome. I have posted the first bingo card in the chat. If you don't see it, try scrolling up just a little bit, and it says bingo card number one. You'll want to have that loaded while we talk a little bit about One Place Studies. First, I think we'd do something a little different. I was telling Azure, I want to do a little tour just real quick. We're not going to do a lot of talking on the first couple slides. And then we'll come back and tell you a little bit more about One Place Studies. These are ones that are actually in WikiTree right now. So this particular one is in Ireland. And I really love this. I brought this up because I love the photos and the maps that they it, it really old photos of the castle. And it just kind of shows you a little bit about what they've done for this particular study. And then moving right along, this one is one of my favorites. This particular one place study uh, coordinator, her name is Mel. Uh, Mel does a fabulous job. She kind of goes off onto Canva and creates her own little graphics. And we're gonna talk about graphics towards the end of this program. But also the, the reason why I think that this is pretty cool is not only because of the detail that she puts into it. I love her little, what I call eye candy here, where she gives the information that we kind of require each one page, or excuse me, one place study to have. But she puts it in a way that makes it fun to read. And I really just like the layout of what she does in her photo. So that one is actually of a settlement school in Kentucky. So the first one was a community in Ireland. That's a settlement school. Here's another fun one I thought you guys might like. I come to this one a lot when I'm looking at my own one place studies that I have because I like the cute graphic. Isn't it cute? So another reason to jump on Canva, you get a free account. And I love how this is where it shows this particular one is a state. It shows me exactly where this is located. So it's kind of cool. And then also talking about the history of it. And this one is super new. So this looks a little different. This one is Little K, Kentucky. This one threw me for a loop setting it up because I couldn't find hardly anything about this particular one. So when you ask us for a one place study, you're going to get something that looks very similar, almost identical, I might add, to this particular page. And I wanted to show you kind of the differences of what you, you get here. This is what do as the one place study leaders to try and give you everything you need as far as the basics. Now, the reason why I use this also, this is a ghost town. So if you're thinking about one place studies, it doesn't have to be an active, thriving study right here, right now. It can also be a place that is no longer inhabited or a ghost town. This one is in South Africa. I brought this up because we're going to talk a little bit later about the One Place Studies directory. So keep that in mind. It, we've, gone, we've gone all over the globe real quick. And we're going to end our quick little tour down in Queensland. And I like this one. I, I, if it has a little bit of color in the photos, I'm instantly drawn in. I don't know about you guys. There are some people who like just the facts and that's great too. And then there's some that like to give you a little bit more information about what's going on with their particular one place study. And uh, I have to mention this because this is taking us to a warmer place. This is in Puerto Rico. 
So this was kind of cool. These old pictures are, are awesome. And I wanted to mention as well that the Puerto Rico project was here two weeks ago. If you guys know anybody that's doing research in Puerto Rico, please have them join the Puerto Rico project as well. It, the, this particular one is really cool too because it's an older community. So the detail that you can put into this page is tremendous to give the entire history. And uh, ending up here at Ruddles Station, this was cool, Azure. Didn't you think this one's fairly new? This is a pioneer fort. And yeah, was really way. When, when Mel asked for this and I was like, well, sure, why not do a one-place study about it? Because we, if, if you have people and ancestors from Kentucky or Virginia, you've got pioneers. I, I was kind of um, blown away by this that I hadn't thought about it before. And this is, this is something that you could have in your own family tree as well. So that's why I brought that particular one up. And this one, this one is one of Amy's. It, another project leader for the project. And the reason why I wanted to show you this is because there are sometimes a well, place is just too large. We're going to talk about that in a minute, but we have ways to fix that and to help you get into a smaller one place study while capturing the larger location at the same time. So I guess then what we need to talk about is what exactly is a one place study, Azure? <laughs> it's the study of a one place, whether it's a, um, you know, it can be like you showed, it can be a school, it can be a church building, a street, a neighborhood, a hamlet. <laughs> so it, it's just the study of that one place, the history and genealogy of it. Would you say, that if you have an idea for a place study and you're not sure because it's not a town or it's not a, a specific location or area or it maybe is that ghost town, if you thought, well, I don't think I can do a one place study because of this or that or this, ask us. Yeah. I, I, I mean, it's when somebody asked for the ghost town, we were like, yeah, we want to know too. We're interested in the one place studies too. Yeah. And that's how I started in one place studies was for a ghost town. There's only 65 profiles for it, but you know, it was really interesting to learn more about it. And that's what they're all about. And people live there. They, yeah. they, they, that it was valid. People live there. You, you could add the profiles to WikiTree and yeah. probably track that community as well of people in the one place study. If they happen to have similar surnames, I know a lot of pioneers, for example, were uh, the ghost towns are now there. Their towns are no longer. They had a lot of similar surnames. So that's another way where one name study and yeah. one place study come into play as well. I, I heard, and this is kind of putting you on a spot. I, it's just a thought that it came in. I heard that a lot of times, too, in the old, old west of the United States, that there might be a cemetery only in a ghost town. There's, there's not really homes or apartments or shopping malls and stuff, but sometimes it's just a one little small patch of territory that was a town, and now it's just a cemetery. Is that yeah. true? Yeah. So, so keep that in mind. And again, I always talk about when we do bingo, the power of wiki tree, we have just talked about three different projects that are working together and that's just scratching the surface. So, and, and um, I want to let Liza know that we can help you hang, hang with us for, for the entire bingo. I've got an idea for you because she'd love to do a one place study, but no, idea what location she'd do it for. Don't worry. We can help. We can definitely help you figure that one out. So then I guess the question would be next, then if I have a one place study or a location, then the same with one name study, I want to come and look at the location to see if it's already existing on WikiTree. Yeah. If it isn't, 
then it's the same procedure with just about every project that you see on Wikitree. You're going to come to the, uh, the project page. You're going to answer the G2G and put in your request, and then we'll respond to it. If there is one that's already existing, and I said this with one name study, and it holds true for one place study, contact the person who is the PM of that particular page because we love help. We, yes. we love help. Just because I have a study on a town called Commerce, Georgia, does not mean I can do it all by myself. I want help. I need help. I would love to have people say, hey, I, I don't really want to do a lot. I just maybe want to add the west part of town or maybe a couple streets or a couple of my ancestors. I would say we're all for that, wouldn't you, Azure? Oh, yeah, definitely. So keep that in mind, too, that if you see that one's already existing, don't be shy or don't think that you can't participate. You can definitely participate. Just reach out. This is about collaboration. So feel free to reach out and work with the PM that's already started because a lot of times they do have a, a goal. If it's not on the page, they have it in their mind and they're more than happy to share it with you all. And want to welcome Amy into the chat. Uh, as we welcome Amy into the chat, if you guys have questions and we miss them, Amy, trust me, we'll catch them and she will answer all your questions as well that you might have. And I want to thank Amy for doing that in the previous one name studies as well. So this is a good point too. Here we're going to bring in even another different project as well. So Liza also helps with the one place study in Quebec. And that's a good way to get started is to maybe help somebody else with theirs. And that'll help you kind of come with, up with some ideas. You know, it, it really is because it's almost like you have a minty mentor giving you an idea. Everything is already set and in place. And then they just kind of have their to do list that all of us have and you jump in. That's a really great point. That's a great idea. It, this is another location. This is an old sawmill. So it's not just a town. I mean, it's not it just say a ghost town versus an active town. It's not just that. It can be a particular building where people worked as well, like the old sawmill. And I'm going to post up real quick. Let me... Um, put in the bingo card. So everybody, if you can load up your bingo card, because we've got a lot to talk about with this particular project. And we also want to show you how to change your stickers. So they look pretty and awesome and have a cute little graphic as well. And yay, Steven made it. Okay. So then let's go back over to the page. If, if I have a one place study and I ask you to create it for me and you guys create it and it's set and it's ready to go, what do I do next? Yeah, so we have out there how to start, what what to do, what how to get started. There's uh, resources listed there on uh, videos that help you kind of get, get going um, and some ideas of how to how to break out the research tasks. And this would probably be a good time to talk about the Society for One Place Studies. Can you tell us a little bit more information about this? I, 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 I think that it's similar to the Society for One Name Studies. It's just place or is that not accurate? Um, it's a little bit of a smaller uh, society, but it's definitely got a lot of great um, aspects uh, or re resources that they have available, benefits of joining um, and having your study published on their site. Um, so I definitely would recommend checking that out. They have a YouTube channel with some videos out there you can see about getting started on One Place Studies. Um, the space page has uh, some information too. And if you do have your study registered, uh, again, like the other page mm -hmm. uh, for the Guild of One Name Studies, similar with this one, just do a trusted list request and we'll get you added to the page. 
That's a really good point too. So I just want to make sure that, so if you already have one out there, you bring it in the wiki tree. What happens if there's one out there and there's one on wiki tree, two different people, you can still yeah. link them, right? And still work on wiki trees. Yeah. So more collaboration with more people and just getting more help and getting more, um, your study publicized more out there. So it's great. Okay. And then let's, um, the, the, I didn't bring it up. You'll have to help me find it. Um, the ones, there we go. The one place studies directory. I love these guys. The, yeah. the, the, the they are really, really awesome. And what I do is when, if I create a one place study, the next thing I do before I make any adjustments to my new page is I come over to the one place studies directory, which is linked off the project's main page here for free. You yeah, add it and right. Free, free. <laughs> and, and they love wiki tree. They love wiki treeers. So yeah. I noticed that a couple of times I've gone onto their site to look for a one place study and I see wiki tree, wiki tree, wiki tree. So they love us. So this is really good. Why would I do this? Why would I list with, with this particular? Well, it, first of all, it's free. And then also it, getting your study out there, you know, letting people know what you're working on. It's more cousin bait. You call it cousin bait, right? It pulls yeah. more people in. Um, and, and specifically the One Place Studies directory, actually uh, Society for One Place Studies also uh, does this, but they they uh, post on their social media when they have a new study added to the, their their um, directory. Oh, you're so right. They do because I see it. I need yeah. to know about that. Yeah. So that's a great. And so you want to draw more people into um, helping you with your study and just getting the word out there. So think about this. So if you created that new study on Wiki Tree, then you come over here because again, it's free. All you got to do is just tell them who you are in the link, and as they'll see this Wiki Tree. If you notice, this has already a lot of Wiki Tree, Wiki Tree. So this is pretty cool because what Azure just said is, as soon as it's a new one, then they'll post it on their social media. And what you did is you just kind of in a roundabout way included the ambassadors project <laughs> in your one place study. <laughs> so, oh, that's that's great. <laughs> so that's great. So when you see them posted on social media, that's the time you want to click your likes and your shares and tell the whole world on social media that that one is your one place study because there are researchers around the globe looking at this information. It's funny because I like to use my, actually my husband for this example, he has ancestors that were in the Austria, Hungary, you know, you never knew which one it was at any year that his ancestors were born. And he actually used the town one place study to find a researcher who found it's a distant, distant cousin. It's not a close cousin, but to find a, a distant cousin who actually could show him where the records were so he can continue wow. doing his research. But again, awesome. it was a one place study. A lot of people think you only see the stuff with DNA, but it wasn't. It was a one place study because he, he just wanted to know, was it Austria at the time or was it Hungary? So it, it is amazing what you can do. When you could, when you create something like this on WikiTree, I, I I tend to think that a lot of us think, okay, I created this one place study or this one name study on WikiTree. Let me search all the WikiTree profiles. Let me add it to my study, and then maybe at the next thon or something like that, let me go ahead and add more residents to the one place or one more people with the one name study. But it's a little bit more than that, because as you said, once it goes out on the social media, you get more help. Yeah. It, 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 if you're looking at an area where you really want more people to come into Wikitree and help you add those profiles, I, I just love the One Place Studies directory. They're a really cool organization. They're in free, just like Wikitree. <laughs> so you, can, you can't beat that at all. Okay, so who's ready to play the first bingo? Let me go ahead and take this down while I get that. Everybody have your bingo cards? I'm going to load mine up real quick and get the call list. And 
There we go. Oh, so this is cool. So let's take a couple. So just submitted my one place study to that directory. Please, Carolyn, tell us what your study is. We're, we're curious. Um, so you can try to list all the folks that lived at an address of my study. Not sure I will list the current folks. Yeah, you know, if they're probably still living, that's a good point. That one's a little trouble. But it sounds like then that what Stephen did is he did just the house. Yeah. And that's pretty cool. Um, let me go back up. There was another one, I think, that came up too. Um, the sawmill. And then Carolyn is, as well said that the one place studies are awesome because she loves the one for such unknown places. That's why I started mine. Nobody really knew of this town. So when I started talking about it, it started to get more exposure. And that's exactly what we're, we're kind of talking about. If you know you're going to do a one name study or one place study anyway, and do the social media, add it to that directory, you're just bringing people back to Wikitree. And isn't that why we're all here? To collaborate and to meet people. So pretty cool. Okay, so streets in a, a small town is what he's doing. Okay, guys, let's bring up the bingo. Migration. This one is brilliant for one place studies. Yeah. You really see the trail of the people of where they come in and where they go. So it, let me ask you this, since we're talking about migration, if I have a one place study and um, I'll, I'll just use my, my example of commerce, Georgia, how do I put people in that study? Is it only the people that were born there? Only the people that died there, worked there, lived there, ate there? How do I do this? Yeah, that's a common question that we get all the time. So, um, you, you know, it's, it's up to you. It's your study. But for me, um, on my studies, I list anybody who was there, uh, whether they were impact, you know, if they were impacted or they made an impact on that place. If they got married there, they live there, even briefly I add them, because you never know, somebody might come along to that profile and see that on there and think, oh, what happened when they were, why were they there for that period of time? You know, it yeah. helps. That makes research. sense. That makes sense. Now, um, if I were doing this for a profile of mine, and I will use the example of, uh, my stepdad was in the military. So we traveled a lot when we were younger. Mm -hmm. I would, and this is just me. This is just a suggestion. I'm just bringing it out here because I, I've gone through this for, so what I did is I used the sticker for the one place study for where he was born. And yeah. then every location that he lived, cause he, he worked and lived in the military. We kind of, you know, followed him along for at least three years. I used the categories then. Yeah, for that. exactly. Yeah, that's what I do too. Yeah. Or, or, and I guess, or you, you could say you could use the sticker for where they had most of their life. It's up to you. You've got the flexibility, but the cool thing is, is you've got the categories as well. Yeah. Okay. So church. And you know, every time I apologize, guys, every time I start this bingo, I always forget. So for those of you that are new, I think Jody's new. For the bingo, what you want to do is you want to get all in a row, horizontal, vertically, diagonal. If you've won in the last six months, you cannot win again until that six-month waiting period is over. The first person that types in that they got bingo is the winner. So if four or five of you get bingo at the same time, whoever is the quick draw into typing bingo in the chat gets it and you can just type bingo but if you really 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 want to um help me out type <laughs> bingo 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 <laughs> multiple <laughs> times because azure and i get the talking because we love this project so much and we love the other projects so sometimes we miss it so just uh, make sure that we hear it and if you guys get close let me know too and i believe so um steven did you get your mug yet and i should say uh, azure do you have your mug oh yeah here it is. 
You can't there's see it. There's okay. a mug and there's Azure's mug. Yeah. These are all options that you get. Wiki Tree is being very generous, up to $30 for, you know, it's one item. You don't get a huge bag full of Wiki Tree items. So you could get a shirt, you could get a mug. There's all kinds of options. Okay. Orphanage. This is a really, really interesting one place study. I would think this one is one that you're going to work on a little bit and then you're going to have to leave and come back to it because it, it's pretty emotional. Yeah. Yeah. That's just like you mentioned earlier about one name studies is when, you, if you want to start one, don't feel pressured to get it all done all at once. It's an ongoing, you know, project and just take your time and then, ask for help in G2G for your study. No, it's absolutely. And if you have a location that's currently a thriving location now, it's not a ghost town. It's not a house that's been torn down. It's not a pioneer fort that's gone. It's a thriving community. I just want to let everybody know, take a deep breath because your one name study or one place study will never be finished. It's That's a thriving right. community and it will go on way past you. So don't feel this pressure. I got to get it all done this week. I just started a one place <laughs> study. Oh no, Sandy and Asher are going to come after me and look and see what, <laughs> no, we're not. We're busy working on our own too. <laughs> so street. So this talks about how you can just do it on your particular street. And I mentioned in a previous bingo, if you had block parties, if you had street parties, if you were very, very close to your neighbors in some places in Appalachia, for example, the street were our family. I mean, everybody up and down the street, they were related to us somehow, some way. So it's a one place study can be a street, an orphanage, a school. And we talked about the, Hinman Settlement School earlier that I showed you. So it could be a school too. I haven't thought about this. So I could actually go to even my high school yeah. and create one. Now, and everybody be kind when you create those profiles <laughs> of some of the classmates that you had. <laughs> We're all mature now. <laughs> House. And I love this one as well this one especially if you have an older house or cabin think about that um you could even i guess if you really really wanted to if you just moved into a brand new house that was just built start as a one place study to keep it for the generations to come after you you're That's actually right. helping a lot of people out if you do that and this, this is kind of sad since we're talking about house. Stephen mentions that the houses are being torn down. It, it, this gives you a reason why we're here doing one place studies. If you have any type of pictures or historical information on this for your one place study, it stays. It, it's never going to go away. This information will stay on WikiTree forever. Communities. Explain this one to me. So we have a uh different uh, study types that we've broken it down into. And this is one of them, communities, which is the basic uh, one that everybody's really familiar with, like a city or a town or a hamlet. <laughs> oh yeah, hamlet, that was a good one too. And we're talking about that, we have town. Village, that's another good a community. Society for One Place Studies. We just talked about that. Now, this is the particular one. This has a yearly fee. Yeah, I think it's like, I think it's $10. I'm not. Oh, that's not no, bad. It's reasonable. Yeah, it's very reasonable. And they're wonderful. And they have great, um, you know, monthly uh, webinars that you can learn a lot from other people from all over the world. And yeah, it's, it's a great place. That kind of gives you your virtual travel as well. And yeah. institutions. So I, I know this from, um, I have two institutions actually for One Place Studies. One is in the heart of West Virginia. It's the Transatlantic Lunatic Asylum. So that would be asylum or would that be an institution? Or are they saying? 
on what, you know, what they what call they it. Yeah. So I, I always think of institution as something slightly different than a school, maybe more um, legality to it, I guess, or something like that. Would I do? Would a jail, for example, be an institution? Sure. And I think yeah. when I think of jail, I don't think of like doing a one place study for some of the larger jails that are going on now because a lot of it is is lockdown information. I think of it of like Williamsburg, Virginia. They had a, a jail that was very notorious. So things like that is what I think of for institution. Like localities localities okay. would be similar, wouldn't it? So localities yeah. would cover things like the streets or roads or neighborhoods. So it's not as big as a hamlet or a town or whatever. It's the, it's the next little grouping down. The fan principle. Yeah. So this is your uh, friends, acquaintances, and neighbors. So the neighbors aspect is what we're really, you know, going after for the this principle. So just to help with your genealogy research, that's what One Place Study is all about is getting to know who the neighbors were for your ancestors in this place. And maybe you'll learn more about your ancestors through through them. Ah, oh, bingo, bingo, right. bingo. Congratulations. Yay, yay. Let me bring this down. I was giving you a little bit of pause because I tend to go too fast around loop. So that's good. Congratulations. Okay, GSL, what's your first name? I feel like we need to know you on a first name basis here. <laughs> so I can say thank you properly. But what you're going to do is you're going to reach out to Awen and email her at this particular email address. Let her know that you won the first bingo for One Place Studies or OPS. You won the first bingo. And she will get back to you with information on how to select your prize. And, you know, we're big fans of mugs. As your number of months. So I had to select your prize in, in just to let you know, production is slow right now. So once you select your prize, your free prize, it might take a while to get to you. And then the other thing I want to let you know is don't forget that a -Win's currently at Roots Tech. So give her a little bit of time to get back home after Roots Tech. She's still there for the entire weekend. And she'll, she'll get to the email as quick as possible and also order what your selection is as quick as possible. So congratulations again. That's pretty cool. I, I, I think you might have missed Hamlet. Did we, did we talk Did Hamlet come up? I don't think so. I, I just said it was a, a that there was type of community. Yeah. That was just oh. a type of community. I feel bad if with it. Okay. So, Oh, it looks like GSL is going to gift it to somebody else. You just keep going. <laughs> oh, okay. Did you all stop? Please tell me you still... Okay, this is going to be the new rule that I'm going to have to add. Do not close down your bingo card because we have a lot of people who do donate. That's nice. That is very, very nice. Thank you so much. Okay, so everybody, we're going to keep going then. Let's bring it back up. We've talked about the fan principle. And I will say this makes me laugh when I see it because if you're starting a new one place study for, say, your street, get to know your uh, your lovely HOA president. So it always makes me <laughs> laugh when I see that because everybody doesn't like a workhouse. This is a, a great opportunity to document the people because the histories you could put in the bios of the workout profiles would be fabulous. So. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, I don't know. That. No. <laughs> you, still have to wait. you still have to wait the six months. They are donating for those who are eligible. Sorry, Stephen. Oh, yeah. Memorials. Now, this one came up, actually, interestingly enough, in the live from Roots Tech live cast today. We had a lady named Nancy say that in her hometown, there is a memorial of all the veterans. And would that be a one place study? So how would we how would we list that just the the memorial in the town? 
Yeah, I'm I'm not sure if it would be more covered under the cemeteries or not. That would be something we'd run to talk to um, yeah. cemetery project about because it is about it's for people who died, right? And so mm -hmm. I think that it would be similar to a cenotaph. And so we want to kind of cover it the same way. So it, it's interesting. So if anybody's thinking about doing that, this is another great example where we're saying, if you have an idea, bring it to us. We yeah. will help you figure it out because we're just as curious too. Okay, one place Wednesday. And you know what this means. Everybody who's watching this, every Wednesday, go to your social media. Click like on the place that's shown on that particular Wednesday. And you can also share. Yes. This is automatic. Every Wednesday, you will see this from Wikitree on their social media. And it's just a random selection um, that it picks the study out for us. Um, if you have a study that you'd like to have be in the showcase, send us, drop us a note, let us know. We'll get you up there. And this is, this is good. So Stephanie, she's doing a memorial for World War I veterans as part of the whale project, but linked it to my one place study. I, I'm going to guess the one place study has um, the town name, which also some of them, not all of them ha have a particular cemetery where they're also buried or a lot of them. So I can see a lot of um, work amongst the projects here. That's great, Stephanie, that you're doing that. Thank you for doing that. Yeah, and so this suburb, suburb would be a type of the the study type would be a locality study type. Okay. So that that's back at well, we can look at it later, but when you um, look at the category, the main category for one place studies, you'll see the first section it breaks out by the type, study type. And that's going to be important. So everybody hang with us because we have a little bit of ideas and rules about what is too large and how to help you break that down. So hang with us too for that. Categories, this is going to be very similar to your one name studies. If you have them, you want to put the people into certain categories, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this kind of came up too. I guess this would be a good time. So if you use your one place sticker category on a profile, that is say um, Dallas, Texas, I'm just throwing out a name. That one place study sticker will place that profile in the one place study category. Right. What it will not do is automatically place that profile in the Dallas, Texas category. Right, the location so, category. So you wanna always make sure you add not only your sticker, but you also want to add the location category. And if you're not adding the sticker, add the study category and the location category. So that was a really good one that came up. And then um, Susan, who would probably want to also adopt a one name study from rumor has it. Um, I want to add a free space page to my one place study to cover the militia, which responded to the Lex Lexi. Lexington alarm, do I need to do anything special other than link them? No, um, not at all. It, it'd be like a supplemental page like I kind of mentioned earlier on the one name study. It's just a supplemental page and you can actually put the study sticker on that supplemental page to show that it's part of that, the study. So That's yeah. a good idea because it gives you that little bit of bling, that, that sticker from your study onto okay. that free space page so people will instantly see it and connect the dots and link it and Susie we have a bingo yay yeah. Susie congratulations okay I'm going to bring this up one more time too so Susie what you want to do is you want to email anyone and what will happen is she will get the information to you via email on what you can order what what the dollar amount is you, I think it's $30 up to $30 for one item the choices that you can pick, there's mugs, there's t-shirts, as you mentioned uh, last time too, there's bags, there's a whole, there's a whole bunch of wiki swag that you can pick from. It, give her a few days 
and A1 will be back from Roots Tech and be able to get you all hooked up. And for those of you, because this has been a popular comment um, or question, I should say, for those of you who have not received your mugs from previous bingo, it's, it's a supply chain issue. So hang in there. I noticed, I think last week that a whole bunch of you all of a sudden, bing, 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 started getting your, your mug. So, and I think a t-shirt, somebody ordered a t-shirt too. So that is way to go, Susie. That's a, that was fun. Okay. I have got some technical questions now for you. So this is where we're going to talk a little bit about the different types that we have. Mm -hmm. And also, I guess, how to do them. Let me bring this up. Give me one second, guys. Okay. So it talks about a small or large place. If you're in the United States, for example, and you come to us and you say that you want um, Smith County, New York, and I don't do not know if that is the case, but uh, Smith County, New York, we're probably going to come back to you and tell you that's a little too big, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's too big of an area, really. It's better to, even if it, the whole place is unincorporated areas, it'd be better to do those unincorp each unincorporated area so that then you could roll the, those all up. Like your example here, you could roll those all up to that one, for example, Lanark County or mm -hmm. Ontario space page lists all these other areas, the, the one place studies for within that county. So that's a good way to do it. And this Instead is really good to do too, because Amy is in the chat right now. So yeah. if you guys have any questions, this is her page too. Yes. Sorry, Azra, I didn't mean to interrupt. It's okay. And the and you can see there we got the interlinked. So you can go in the you know back and forth between the different pages there. And I out. love this because you know Amy probably thought I want to do this particular county in Ontario, and it's a lot of work and it's kind of hard to wrestle your way down into the proper bucket categories for this. So instead what she did is have this idea that she's going to create the County, which is already probably on wiki tree, for example, our larger uh, regions throughout the world are there and then start doing the one place studies underneath of it. A lot of work, a lot yeah. of work, but um, this is, very interesting because she says that she found this way smoother than the old way, like way smoother. And I can tell you from just doing an institution that I have, I don't even have a town. I just have like the building. I can't imagine doing it from a large, large perspective. And even if you have a location where I, I had somebody ask, well, it's just a small Caribbean island. It might be, but you've got to think that what you're seeing as far as living people now is one thing, but you've got a lot of ancestors that you're going yeah. back and a lot of history that you're going back. And the example was Puerto Rico. Can we just add a Puerto Rico one? And I, I couldn't even fathom how that would work. That's a lot of people over <laughs> the years. So it's, it'd be, it's better to break it out the the work into a smaller group, you know, smaller areas. It makes it easier to work. And the, as we mentioned too, I want to come back over here to show everybody, actually, let me um, come down just a little bit. These are some of the areas that we currently have one place studies at. And, you know, I, I think this is one of the areas that Amy Ezra and I would love to see more people create because it just helps with the research. It's another piece of the pie. If you've got DNA research you're doing on Wikitree, add this piece in. If you've got the one name studies, add this in. You've already got the locations, the higher locations, the states, the counties. The, the countries and things like that. It just helps for the research, but also if somebody is looking outside of Wikitree for a particular place or person, then you just helped another researcher and brought yeah. that in. And let's talk about stickers then. Um, so we're going to show you how to add 
a sticker. I showed you a couple of examples at the very beginning, but how to do a really nice, fun, cool sticker along the way. It, if you were here earlier for the one name studies, it's pretty similar. And while I do that, let me bring up the second bingo card here. Okay. So as I do this, Azure's going to walk me through. I've never seen this page before. I've never done anything like this. I'm brand new to WikiTree. Can I do this? Can I, can I add my own graphic to this little sticker here and make it my own little one page study? Yep. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on okay. that categories button. Okay. And let so me there we go. Show the categories that are part of this. And mm -hmm. I'm going to go yeah. to this one, right? The Ames Road Northeast for the One Place Study. I'm going to click on that. And that brings me to the matching category. When you have a one place study, we're going to set it up for you because we have certain things that are automatic and consistent throughout all of WikiTree. A lot of people say, well, why can't I just set it up myself? This whole process we're walking you through is one of the reasons, but you see how this is all nice and has a category box. We do that for you. So if you're brand new to WikiTree or you don't want to mess with the technology and the coding of it, we, we set you all up. Okay. So now I'm on the matching category page. When I get a one place study, I'm always going to get a space page that we're just at and a category page. Right. Where do I go now? So now you just click that edit. And it's link. right up here, the little, little. And I'm going to scroll down, right? I'm going to just ignore this that's here now. And yeah, scroll, just scroll down scroll to the down red, link. That red link. <laughs> I know everybody thinks, oh, no, oh, no, it's, it's scary. But uh, click on the red link. And by the way, I happen to have the code. It is also on the FAQs on the project page. So don't worry, this, this is not a hidden code. We have this information clear for everybody to just follow the steps. We're walking you through it to show you that it's pretty easy to do. Okay, so we have our study name in place and I'm just gonna come down to this empty box, paste the code in, but I also need to go find the artwork that I have already uploaded to WikiTree. Uh, before right. I even start this, I uploaded the artwork and where it says your study image dot JPEG. I'm yep. just going to remove that. I'm going to put in the name of the artwork, the graphic I've already put in and that's it. Right. Yep. And make sure you don't, don't make any changes to that title field, that first field. For oh, this here. Just, just leave it as is. Yeah, because that it, it uses the code uses what's there, what it's named for the sticker. So okay, you don't want to make any to that. I just want to hit create. That's it. So this yeah. has been a copy paste. This is all I've done. I didn't need to know the code. I didn't know how to code. I didn't all I need to know is how to copy paste. And I create this profile. It, that's it. It brings me back. And you'll see there is some some text there just Ignore it. Keep on going. Come back to your space page. Let me refresh. And I've got my pretty little graphic now that's personalized <laughs> to my particular one place study. And I want to tell you guys, so easy to do. I promise you it's so easy to do. It's on the FAQs. But if you don't know how to do it or you get stuck or you're like, oh, I think I messed up. I think I did the wrong thing. Just reach out to us. Everything's fixable. We yeah. it, it, don't worry, don't stress. I think a lot of times um, we stress too much over the little things and don't need to. We can always help out and, and don't be shy about asking. I promise we will we will not get upset. We'd rather help you and let you continue on your way with your one place study than get frustrated or anything like that. Now, let's talk about the stickers. We talked about it with one name study, too, and the same thing applies here. I always say this with stickers, just because there is a sticker created that could go on a profile does not mean you need to use every sticker that would be appropriate on that profile. 
Um, a good example is the military example I gave earlier. If that person had lived in 10 different places in their lifetime, you, you really don't want to put 10 stickers just for every location they lived in. But we talked about how would I use the sticker? So I agree with Azure. If the, if it was significant to the person, then definitely use the sticker on the profile, especially if you created the profile, definitely use it. Yeah. If this is a stopping point, maybe somewhere halfway in the middle of their life and they already have a sticker on there for one place study, or they have too many stickers as it is, just use the category. That works yeah. just as well. It gets everything to the right place. And I do want to point out again that there are some profile managers that do not prefer stickers at all. And that's fair. And that's fine that they like a clean text look on their profiles. If that's the case and they reach out to you and they say, please don't add the sticker to my profiles again, say thank you for letting me know. I appreciate that because that's collaboration. And so you can just say, can I leave the category instead? And then it also opens up a conversation because if you're leaving a sticker on their profile, chances are you two have something in common. And yeah, I might be another person to help you with your study. Exactly. <laughs> and I do happen to love stickers too. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> I think they're pretty cool. They give me that instant look. And I, I truly, truly love going to one place studies and seeing the photos that you guys have up there, the, the old maps, the new maps, where it's located, because it's fascinating to me is that you go around the globe with this information and look at it, how much work you can tell and love that people have for that location that they picked. Um, the, now this particular one, Azure is in charge of this one. She's managing it. So what I wanted to point out is, let's say that this is exactly where you wanted to do your one place study. Oh, darn. Azure already has it. Azure <laughs> project leader, one place study. I can't get involved with this. I don't want to step on Azure's toes. I don't, I really like Azure. I don't want her to get mad at me or anything. <laughs> Trust me. We love it when people come to us and say, hey, you need help? <laughs> Can I help? Help us, help us. So if you see that one is, is already out there, and we do ask that you look first to make sure that, that it doesn't already exist. If one is already out there, just reach out to the person that's the PM on the page and say, hey, I like this area. I lived in this area. I grew up in this area. My ancestors from this area, whatever the case may be. Reach out to them because I guarantee you, all of us that have one page studies would love the help. They're, if they're an active community still, it's, the community is never going to end. There, I don't think, you know, I use Dallas. Dallas is probably too big. You'd probably break that up into the four uh, quarters of the Dallas area. But let's just take Dallas as to think about it. I guarantee you a small percentage of ancestors and current people profiles are in WikiTree. So we can always use the help. Yeah, definitely. We could definitely do it. Okay. So let's go ahead and bring up, I know guys, we're, this, I knew these two topics were pretty, pretty big. Let me go ahead and bring up the second bingo card. And what I've done here is kind of shown everybody and put the bingo. These are current one place studies that are living on WikiTree. Ah, so central time. So for then on Fridays, there are two bingos. We have one at noon Eastern and six Eastern. So, so that would be your 11 and your five. And you're in time because you, we just started a new bingo game. Um, Azure, I think this is one of yours. This is actually yeah. a street. It, it's a it's two buildings that um, were actually put together, and it's this one is a good example because it's for a specific time period. So not covering the whole time for these buildings, just for a, a period of I think 110 years. And uh, well, there was a, 
because I forgot about that. That's a really great point. Some towns or some buildings or some streets were only there for a certain amount of time. What happens if I only want to cover a certain amount of time? That's allowed, right? Yes, definitely. Yep. Okay. So this one is a cool back. We talked about this a little bit earlier, how you could also bring in some more of the topical topics with a project, excuse me, with this particular one place study. And don't forget the rules of bingo, horizontal, vertical, diagonal. Whoever types the word bingo in the chat first is the winner. And if you've won in the last six months, you have to wait six months so you can win again. Sorry. <laughs> so let's see. I, I um, so Valadomo Cecilia? Yeah. One of our Italy studies. And this Dave is one of Amy's studies. Yeah. This Dave was Valadomo. one of Amy's, right? Uh-huh. This was one of mine that I talked about, the transatlantic lunatic asylum. And I want to point something out here that was kind of interesting with this, because we talked about how do you tag profiles with this? Well, oddly enough, my grandmother was the head cook there. So she spent a tremendous amount of time there. So I'm like, that would be another way to that I could add her and this one place study together. Now, here's the interesting point, and I believe, don't hold me to it, but I think it was Liza that was mentioning it earlier. If you see any in this color blue, guess what? They are ready for a coordinator. They have been orphaned, and we need coordinators. Yes. I couldn't believe that this one is a, if, if you have any curiosity at all, you um, I, if you have an interest in history, an interest in culture, an interest in disabilities of, of the human race. This is a fabulous one place study to pick up and bring it into the light. I, I can imagine the stories and biographies that you could really beef up into this particular one place study. In Shenandoah Valley, Virginia, and this is more of, um, I guess, an area. Yeah. It was more of a region. There we go. And this one was very interesting too. Africatown, Alabama. This is a very historical place. And we're also bringing in, guess what? Another project. We're bringing in the USBH project, the United States Black Heritage Project. Again, this is the power of WikiTree. And of course, we all know Balmoral Castle. So this yeah would be, I'm going to guess a house. <laughs> it would be interesting because it, it, like I mentioned for my grandmother, I, if I was working on profiles for this, if, you know, I would be tempted to ask the PM, what about all the people who work there? Because the staff clearly outweighs the amount of profiles that you would have there. Yeah, Definitely. Um, no, we have started when you see this, Arthur, when you see this come up, this means that we have started. Oh, now, yeah. okay. So Mavlin, I need you to pay attention so we don't miss you winning bingo. And I agree the history with this, I can just see the profiles in the information. And, and if you haven't had a chance, definitely go look at their one page study page. It's pretty interesting. Uh, Steven, you're funny. Um, this is a brand new one. Was this our first or one of our first uh, New Zealands? Um, I think so. I think there's only a few. Let me look real quick. And you know what was interesting about this? This um, particular wiki trier originally came to us with the request of a much larger region. And we asked and we said, well, it, that would be great if you could create a smaller one several smaller ones that go up into that district and region into New Zealand. And if memory serves me right, this wiki tree is also giving a presentation on this particular one page, one place study, which was fabulous. I wanted to get a jump start on it. Nice. And Nova Scotia. I know a lot of times we talk 
a lot about in terms of the United States. So I wanted to show you that we do have one place studies throughout the world. And a bird. So this is again, this is in blue. So that means it is begging and desperate for somebody to say, yes, I will take this on as the one place study organizer. And this is great. Jody, I believe you said this was your first bingo. Right, and you're on. You got bingo, bingo, bingo. That's great. That's awesome. That is really, really cool. Okay. So what you want to do, let me go ahead and bring it up again. You're going to email. And when, remember, when you email Eowyn, give her some time. She's at Roots Tech. And we all in the chat, and, and Zora and I here, we are the official, not at, Roots Tech crew. <laughs> hashtag not at Roots Tech crew. We're going to have to start taking pictures so we can post up our own pictures and say, <laughs> Wiki Trier is not at, at, at Roots Tech crew because we can't let them have all the fun. But email anyone. And what she will do is she will reach out to you and let you know what you can get for a prize. It's really, really generous what Wiki Tree is doing. And we really appreciate that because it gives us a chance to bring the projects into you to explain it a little bit more. Sometimes you want to join a project, but you're not sure if it's a right fit for you. You're not sure if you have the time for it. And I can tell you this, this project, the one place in the one name studies you have the time for because they, they don't end. For the most part, there's few examples. The ghost towns, they probably end but they will keep on going and going and going. And that's a good question. How many profiles approximately would you say is a good number for one place study? Is it based on that? No, not, not at all. Um, it, it's about what you have an interest in and, you know, remember to, to try to think about keeping it smaller rather than going larger. Those are kind of my tips for, for that. Mm -hmm. But no, like, like I was saying, that one I did that I started out with, Andersonia, it's a ghost town, only has 65 profiles because it was only for about five years. But then you have studies that are larger, like the first study that was on the first uh, bingo card, that 122124 um, Columbia Heights in Brooklyn, that one has a large amount, even though it is also for a time frame. There were a lot of transient workers that went through there uh, for different time periods. And so it's already over, I think, 700 profiles. So, and I'm still working on it. So um, it, it just depends on what your, what your study is about. And, you know, you, like we keep saying too, this one's a little different of a project because you could, it, it, it really depends. Are you basing on who was born there? who died there, who was born or who lived there, who worked there, who spent right. maybe a lot of time there, but then moved on with their life. It's really going to be up to you what your study is. Now, I want to move on to something fairly new before we close up. And this is really kind of important. So again, I apologize for running a little late, but hang in there with us. We need to talk about how cemeteries are right. now within one place study. So just real quick, I want to mention that in November 21, cemeteries were added as a type of study to the project. You know, we talked about streets, we talked about houses, we talked about hamlets, things like that. So that happened in 2021. Then in 2022, something a little bit larger happened with the cemeteries. And in that case, what happened was that cemeteries project became a one place study sub project. And if you could just help us out to understand, <laughs> do I, if I want to create a new cemetery, it, what do I do and how does this work? Yeah. So cemeteries is its own project parent, parent project, but it is under um, one place studies because it is a type of place study um, cemeteries are. And so, but to, to do a cemetery, uh, what you'll want to do is go ahead and go to that project page, the cemeteries, cemeterist project page, and they have their own join, join post. And they actually have a link there on how to create your page for your cemetery. 
So they, they walk you through how to do that. Now, what happens if, do I, if I am still a cemetery, I'm just nestled, just the projects nestled under one place study. I don't need two stickers. Correct. No. I don't need a cemetery, XYZ cemetery, one place study and an XYZ cemetery. I just right. need, I just need to, to look at what the Simmerxist project asks us to do and stick with that. Yes, because okay. the cemetery has a category and that's all there is. Um, the cemetery category, okay. there's no sticker for cemeteries. Okay. And that brings me to something real quick. If you're still using stickers that were used many, many years ago on your profile pages for cemeteries, those are outdated and need removed. Right. Um, yeah. yeah. If you go to the, the template page for that sticker uh, for global cemeteries, it actually says that, I um, can't remember the word now, but it, it, it's no longer being in, in use. So, yeah. The, then... Um, so as we mentioned, if you have a one place study that you would like to do and you've looked and it's not on Wikitree already, then you're going to go to the G2G that we have listed on the project page. And just like you do most studies, and you're going to tell us what study, what location, building, whatever the street is, what study you're requesting. If you request a cemetery study on one place studies G2G, we're going to send you back to the Symmetrist project. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that's it. It's appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So yeah, I was just wanted to point that out because I know that when the project came, came under the one place studies, there's a lot of confusion. A lot of people were asking, what do I do? Who do I talk to? Do I have two project bosses? What, what's going on? So I just wanted to point that out really quick to clear it up and to tell you that Steve has volunteered, the project leader for cemeteries has volunteered to come back in April. And I know you have lots of questions about cemetery. So please come back for that one. That was going to be great. Steve has already told me that the cemetery project is like his love of what he loves to spend his free time in wiki tree. So it, it'll be a great time. And um, this is great that you want to dive into a one place study and you were not sure because this is exactly why we do project bingo to help you guys see what it's about, see if it's a fit, understand kind of the way that it works with other projects. And I think that it's just the power of wiki tree. So I have a feeling we're going to see a lot of uh, G2G <laughs> <laughs> coming up. And I, guess that was it. If anybody has any other questions, then let us know. If not here, then contact us on the project page. Um, thank you, Amy, too, for handling the chat. That has been awesome, handling the chat, because I know that we probably missed a few questions there as well. Otherwise, everybody have a great weekend. And if you are on social media, remember, at Wikitreers is going to be like what I use, the Twitter so make sure to have fun, post a picture, especially if you've got a mug, a wiki tree mug, post your picture with the hashtag, not at Rootstack, and <laughs> you were at bingo. <laughs> so bye, everybody. See bye. You in weeks. Next week, Friday night, date night. Make sure to brush your teeth, comb your hair. <laughs>